Dude. Ah! Oh, hi, Jake. What are you doing here? These baby ball pythons are 15 days old and they haven't taken their first meal. This is not uncommon, but I don't want them to wait too much longer, so I'm going to use what I like to call the paper bag trick. I place a pinky rat along with the snake in the bag. Then I close the bag up and I'll wait about an hour. The small dark space coupled with the meal inside often gets them eating. And I've had a lot of success with this trick in the past, but not with this one. Or 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 this one. So that didn't work out as planned. But not to worry, I have more tricks up my sleeve. I have the most patient snake ever. I'm just cleaning her cage, changing her bedding, and she was getting too active uh, around my neck, so I led her to her hide, which is just sitting on the carpet right now. Look at this patient girl. She's just waiting, waiting for her new bedding. <laughs> She's trying to scare me. <laughs> Oh, look at that face. You know you girl. That's it. <laughs> You're so cute. Ay, nako. Mukha kang ingot. You complain? Bonus. <laughs> no. <laughs> Molly, is she farting? If we can't help each other, if we don't support each other, don't. <laughs> Today I will be going over some do's and don'ts of picking up your pet snake. This is my boa constrictor Belmont. Number one, do not come from above. Their natural predators in the wild are birds. Your hand coming from above looks like a bird claw. What you want to do is you want to show them that you're there. Touch a part of their body to make sure that they know you're about to be picked up. And then you want to scoop them from their belly like I just did. That way you don't stress them out. So you know the book Snape, that Snape that appeared on the cover art of pretty much every book in 2019? Well, I propose that Loki be the new book Snape. His qualifications include being cute, living near a bookshelf, and staring at me while I read. Publishers, just let me know, we'll be here.
this is a snack. If you're afraid of snacks, then it's a nope rope. Like if you go to the bathroom and you see this, nope rope. And if a nope rope has poisonous venom, then it's a danger noodle, like the shake snake and the cobra. Do not boop, or you will get the hurt juice. But if you love the snacks, then it's a boop noodle. Look at that cute snoot. Deserves a boop. Snacks also have peepers, noodle necks, smelly flickers, and nom nom seekers. Those are for finding cheese boys. Other names for nope ropes are slippery tube dudes, hazard spaghetti, spicy noodles, caution ramen, and murder spaghetti. Whatever you call them, just remember, no step on snack. Guys, snakes don't need leashes because they themselves are the leash. If you don't like where they're going, you can just... Gotcha, buddy. Hey, Mocha, I got you some food. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I've been starving. Mocha, I brought you some food. Put it over there in the stand. I don't want to see you. Okay. Okay, I can eat now. Mocha. I bought you some food. Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave this here. If you want it, grab it. If it's still there by morning, I'm taking it away. Okay, that's fine. You're just wasting food. Mocha, you're gonna be your best Mom. Mom. I'm hungry. Can I find any food? Well, it's not where she always leaves it. Maybe she put it somewhere else. Is it under here? No. Is it in here? Oh, man. Mocha, I heard you were looking for food. Here you go. Go away! Leave it over there! Okay. You better eat that. Be kidding me. Oops, my heart went. Come on, slither a little snake a snack. Here's what to do if a giant snake bites itself, or possibly you. Gently push the snake's head forward, then pull up. And that's because the snake's teeth are like hooks, and they're designed to keep the prey inside of the mouth. All done! Oh, cheesy crackers! No, 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 no! Oh, it hit its head. Like it subscribe. Does anyone out the snake just hang out in their sweatshirt pockets? Let's talk about pet snakes. Snakes make great pets and they are so cute. And if you are thinking about getting a pet snake, let me give you some major advice. Get a pet snake that is native to where you live. There are so many snakes that are native species to where we live that are so underrated and they are fantastic pets and easier to take care of than pythons. I think pythons are some of the cutest snakes that are out there. But the only thing is, is that they're not native to where we live and they end up getting a lot bigger than people are thinking or they escape from their cage. And then 
we end up having the problems that we're having in the Everglades right now. You should never release a pet, but if your snake does end up escaping, at least you know that it is escaping in an environment that it was made for, and it's not gonna harm the ecosystem at all. You just have to look up some of the native species in your area because they, oh, they're so beautiful and so cute. Just get a native species. I don't care if you're the demon seed of Davy Jones. You're going down, Tubby. Tubby. This is what trying to take a photo is like. I just, I just want him here. I'm like, can you just, can you just stay still for one second? I know there's another branch up there. Or a piece of pound. Please, just, just stay there for one second. Bazaar, please, just, just, just stay down for one second, okay? No. Can we just take a picture, please? No, we have to go up there. This is dreadfully unhelpful, my good sir. I mean, I guess I can work with this angle, but it is not what I wanted, you dumb piece of spaghetti. You're a goofus. Meet Sprinkles, my palmetto corn snake. Look how freaking stupid he looks. The palmetto corn snake has to be my favorite corn snake morph because just look at the white coloration with the speckles, it looks so cool. And what's really interesting is the first palmetto corn snake was brought into captivity in 2008 for breeding and was found in South Carolina. And the first female hatchlings that were captive bred were sold in 2012 for $4,000 each. Corn snakes make great pets and I would highly recommend getting a palmetto corn snake if you are looking for a cool morph. They're really cute. Oh boy, I do wonder where my corn snake is. So I just found something really awesome. I found this guy. This is not a dead snake. <laughs> you know, just in case y'all thought that. I'm sure he's putting on a very, very, uh, you know, impressive and uh, persuasive display here to make you think he's dead. But he is actually, in fact, not dead. This is an eastern hognose snake, as you can see up by his face. He's got that, you know, that upturned, uh, what's called a rostral scale. It's their nose scale. 
And that's why they're called a hognose snake. They use that upturned scale to, to dig in loose and sandy soils. And he's not dead, he's actually playing dead. You can see when I flip him over on his stomach, he'll actually flip right back over and onto his back to try and convince me that he is dead. This is all a bluff, he's completely fine. This is just a very unique and uh, special behavior that these snakes have that uh, pretty much no any other snake around here does. So this is such a cool snake, an eastern hognose snake. Olive, you just got fed yesterday. Why are you out? You're supposed to be under the sand, digesting your food like a good worm snake. <gasps> Look how cute you are, though. Oh, I almost want to give you another mouse. Yeah. <gasps> Too bad, I'm sorry. Your snake has a bad shed. Here's what to do about it. Put a drop or two of Dawn dish soap in a bucket and fill it with warm water. Then place the snake inside the bucket. Ensure the snake has enough room to keep its head out of the water. Leave them soak for about 10 minutes. After the snake is done soaking, use your thumbs to gently rub the excess shed off the snake. Depending on how bad it is, it may take a few soaks to get all the shed off. Check your snake's enclosure to ensure that it has the proper humidity to reduce the chances of future stuck shed. Destination unknown as we're pulling for some gas. Officially placed a poster reveals a smile from the pack. Elephants and acrobats, lion snakes, monkey. Bella speaks righteous, sister seen a... But it's good for you. Good for your soul. Oh, please. I have no soul. Don't be suspicious. 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 Okay, darling, what now? I, um, you climbed up there. I opened the drawers a little bit to give you more space to hang on to. And now what? What's the plan now, darling? Hmm? Do you have plans? Ambitions? Or are we, are we just vibing? Hmm? What are we doing? Where are you going? Focus on the baby! I'm coming down. Maybe. Getting some exercise. Happy St. Patrick's Day! Why doesn't Ireland have any snakes? Legend has it that St. Patrick banned snakes from Ireland. That's a lie. Thousands of years ago, Ireland was connected to a larger landmass. It was during the Ice Age and it was cold. 10,000 years ago, the Ice Age ended, the glaciers melted, and Ireland became its own island. The ocean and the cold weather prevented snakes from colonizing on Ireland.
Just think about it, humans one day randomly decided to look at a certain type of animal and just be like, I want that.